Hey everybody. So this is going to be a video. Um, my son has um, a aspiring future as a YouTuber. He'd like to eventually become a YouTuber. He is um, under the age of 13, so we're keeping his identity private. Um, you know, keeping him off camera until um, we believe he's mature enough to be on camera. But um, as you guys seen before, we've done a mask and some things like that. He's going to sit right here off the side. He's right here. Say hi. Hello. Okay. And he has created a book tag. He wanted, he thought it would be really, really cool. He picked a lot of the people that I communicate with on a very regular basis and wanted to add them to um, ha have them do this tag as well. So this is a book that he has been into and he thought about some questions and they were very interesting. So what he'll do is he'll read the questions and then I'll answer them um, with what I feel like. Okay. So this is a book tag about a book that I was listening to on audiobook back in fifth grade. Now I'm in sixth grade. So. What's the book? Um, this is the Trapped in a Video Game series book tag. I didn't have enough time to do a, um, I didn't do, I didn't have enough time to do a full on book review. So I wrote a tag. Okay. All right. What's the first question? So, um, the main main character is Jesse Rigsby, and I was listening to his book on an audiobook that I felt like he was kind of like me. What book character do you feel is most like you? Okay, so the character that I picked was, I did a reread recently of Mistborn, and when I was younger, the first time I read it, I didn't connect as much with... Ham as a character, but this time around, as a father protecting his wife and children, I really connected with Ham and felt I was most like him on this reread. All right, what is question two? Eric Conrad is Jesse's best friend. What is your favorite sidekick character from a book? Um, well, the answer that I I chose on this one, um, I kind of wrote this a little while ago when I was reading the Dresden Files a little bit more often. But Michael Carpenter is one of the coolest side characters. He's a knight, um, a holy knight. Um, he fights for the cross, um, and he just does things well. He is a person who cares about his family. All you know that, that probably is something that is like a theme that you'll see from my answers. Um, somebody who cares about their family, works hard, and is a good person. Question three. So I used to not actually want to read the series whenever I first found it on my tablet. Then I tried it, and I started loving it. What is a book slash book series that you want to read, but you can't find at a bookstore? Um, this is actually a book series that I've read the first trilogy, and I'm looking for the second trilogy. Um, you guys probably have seen some of my book hauls. I mostly get my books used, and because I mostly get my books used, I'm kind of at the mercy of whatever's there. In this book series, it's the Powder Mage in the second Powder Mage trilogy by Brian McClellan. I've only found book one in print, and I've listened to the second and the third one on my library Audible app, um, but I cannot find the second trilogy anywhere at used bookstores, um, and I have been looking for them and still have not found them. Question four. I was listening to, to the series through audiobook. What is your favorite audiobook? Um, my favorite audiobook... Um, done by Frank Muller. I might have already talked about this on the channel with you guys. Um, the Drawing of the Three. Um, the way he presents that book, the way he does Eddie's voice, the way he does Susanna, um, well, actually, Odetta and Detta Holmes. Um, just the way that he um, does the mix-up of words with Roland coming into our world. Um, I, th the book was just marvelous. Um, I recommend listening to the Dark Tower on audiobook. It's so good. Question five. I was listening to the series through an app called Get Epic. What is your favorite ebook reader app? Um, the one that I use most often is Libby. I also use Hoopla. Um, it has a bit more of an eclectic, um, kind of strange. Um, some of the books in there are not as good. Um, and so they have a lot more unknown books, books that I've never heard of before. The one that I fall back on the most is Audible, because they pretty much have everything. Um, if I'm looking for it, they generally have it. Some of the presidential autobiographies that are really old, they, they didn't have. But for the most part, they've got everything I'm looking for, but I do have to pay for it. I like free. Um, I haven't really tried Scribd. I signed up for this free trial and couldn't 
find a lot of the books I was looking for at the time, so I unsubscribed from Scribd. Um, some people use it quite a bit. I personally don't use it. Um, but yeah, most most of the time I prefer to use Hoopla or Libby, but I always fall back on Audible when I just can't find it anywhere else. Now, another thing is he also really likes Kindle. So. Um, but you were asking about audiobooks. No, I was just asking ebook. Oh, ebook reader? Yeah. Well, yeah, I use my Kindle. <laughs> but still, Audible is pretty good. Yeah. So, um, I listen, I was listening to the series back in fifth grade at my school. What is, what was your favorite book you read at school just for fun? Uh, just for fun. What did I write down? Oh. Um, my fa- my favorite that I remember reading at school, this was 10th grade uh, English literature um, of Mice and Men. This book I really remember connecting with emotionally. Um, it was one of the first books that really touched me. This one and Flowers for Algernon. Both of those we read um, around the same time. And both of them really tugged on my heartstrings. Um, I found myself going, I didn't know books could make me feel this way. Um, and those were the first books I remember connecting with in school um, for reading. Question number seven. The author of the series' name is Dustin Brady, and he is pretty good at writing. Who's your favorite author and why? Who is my favorite author and why? Hmm. I, I would have to say most likely at this time, anything that Brandon Sanderson is writing, I'm generally wanting to check out and find out. The, the Stormlight Archive just really hits me on on a huge level um you know for a long time it was probably robert jordan um but now i think sanderson has moved into my favorite author but there's a lot of authors that are doing some really cool and interesting things um dan simmons with his hyperion and fall of hyperion i just loved um i'd really like to get into some other authors who are doing some really cool stuff um you know some sci-fi authors that i'm really enjoying um I wouldn't say Jack Campbell's one of my favorite authors, but man, I've read a lot of books by him lately. Um, but yeah, right now I'd say Brandon Sanderson. Okay, so this series is... I put something called The Brain Bookshelf, but most people wouldn't understand that. If you don't understand it, it's basically a bookshelf that you would just reread books on. But the question here is, what is your favorite book on your real bookshelf? Now, mind the fact that he's got two... But he picked one from back here. So, yeah. They can't see you. He was pointing to this bookshelf. That's the kid uh, bookshelf. And this is my YouTube bookshelf. So, this is where I've got my favorite books. But my favorite book that I have on this bookshelf is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. You know, you probably get that. I think Words of Radiance is actually a better book. But Way of Kings is still my favorite book. um, Because of the story, um, really, the end of the way of kings uh just beautiful okay so for this answer he went back to brandon sanderson but there are five books in the series what's your favorite five book series my favorite five book series easy lightbringer um you know wheel of time is my favorite series but that's 14 books but a five book series that i just love and adore and i can't stop talking about is the lightbringer series starting with the black prism Ending with The Burning White. Oh, man, I, I, I just loved that series uh, to pieces. One of my best videos I ever did was explaining that magic system, if you want to check it out. So, I was going through the series pretty fast. What is the quickest book series you have ever read? Um, Era 2, Mistborn. Listen to it on audiobook. My library had all three of them. And in about three weeks, I was able to finish all of Era 2 that is currently being written. Um, he's writing the fourth book, uh, fourth and final book in the series. But Mistborn Era 2 with the um, Allomancy and Western-style um, gun slinging. Oh, man, it was so good. Uh, the, the humor in it with Wax and Wayne, the back and forth between the two. I loved it. I need to read it again already. And I just read it at the beginning of this year. <laughs> so, um... Originally, in the tagging, I had so many people, and I got rid of some. So here are the ones that I left off. All right. Having. I got Scott, Book Invasion. All right. Angela. We got Codex. Literature Science Alliance. 
Witcher Science Alliance, Codex Cantina. Okay. Everyone who reads it must converse. Okay, that's Noah. And Nerdy Narrative. The Nerdy Narrative, Leslie. Okay, so that's yeah. five people. Uh, and and you guys, feel free to tag. What's, what are we calling this tag? The Trapped in a Video Game Full Series Book Tag, but the shorter name is going to be the Trapped in a Book in a video game book tag. All right, we'll do that. Trapped in a video game book tag. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please subscribe if you like um, the content, and we will see you next time. Bye. Mm-hmm.